All right, so those of you that watched the last video I did about the contest we're running at SurvivalsPrepper.net, uh, you heard me talking about the Paratus bug out bag from 3vgear.com. And I got this today and I wanted to kind of open it and show you what it's like. And then we'll get a kind of a closer picture and let you see a more detailed look. But first off, it comes just like this uh, in this box right here. It's got the, the patches that you see on the website, the American flag and the 3V symbol little sticker this will be going on my laptop here pretty soon uh, and then it comes the bag itself comes in the box right here packaged in this plastic and I can already tell it's a heavy-duty bag uh, let's open this sucker up right here though let's see what we've got and this right here you can see the pouches the molly pouches are already on it the bottom pouch is already on it uh, good size quality bag uh, this is a this is definitely a big bug out bag uh, it's got the back piece right here we can take off the back is nice and padded it's got a sturdy backing uh, but what we'll do is I'll get a little bit closer up here so you guys can see this bag uh, we'll check out the zippers um, all of that the good stuff pretty durable bag though uh, let's get a little bit closer and we'll check it out all right so here's this pack like i said it's got a couple of the these things that you can just velcro these on it's actually got one on there too they go on like that uh, i said in the beginning i was going to keep this sticker but if i'm going to give this away i guess i need to buy myself talk my wife into letting me buy another one uh, but anyway this comes with the two molly pouches on the side and one quick deployment pouch down here and i'll just read this real quick to you what it says is it is built to exacting standards from heavy duty 600D nylon. The main compartment is 20 inches by 12 inches by 5.5 inches. The top front is 13 by 12 by 3. Uh, the two large molly pouches attached to each side are 5 by 2.5 by 8. And the, the rapid deployment pack is 12 by 6 by 6. And let me just show you real quick how to get this one off. Real, it, this one is real easy. Rapid deployment. Basically, it's got two buckles down here at the bottom it's kind of hard from this angle take those off right there and this whole pouch comes off uh, it's got two compression straps to keep everything closed these are adjustable so however full you get this uh, you can adjust those to keep it nice and tight it's got the strap right here uh, that could come off if you need to uh, it's got two compartments the first compartment here see if you can see in there it's got an inside mesh pouch this would be pretty good for some kind of first aid kit or something like that. Then outside pouch here, it's got a couple, it's got an inside pouch right here and a couple more smaller pouches right there. Uh, pretty cool pouch right here, the whole rapid deployment pouch. Then it's got a couple of side compartments. You can put some stuff on or in as well. And then, like I said, Molly compatible. You can put all sorts of stuff on here if you want. Uh, this is a pretty big bag though, so depending on on what you're using it for, uh, you make sure you're ready because you could put a lot of stuff in this. You could put a lot of weight in this. Uh, these two side pouches uh, basically just Velcro on. Pull those off right there and then inside the pouch. These are your basic Molly pouches. I think you can buy these separately at the website as well. Uh, but just inside here they've got... Uh, these a, a smaller insert right here just your basic molly pouches now one thing that i talked about if you haven't listened to the podcast where i talked to dan uh, he goes through quite a bit of detail about these bags and the one thing that we talked about were the the quality and construction of these and these stand up to you know just the feel of this just you know without ever using it or anything it feels like my maxpedition does it doesn't feel like one of those you know cheaper walmart type bags um, you can tell this is was made really sturdy uh, the inside pouch right here it's got the compartment in here where you can put your hydration system uh, but the zippers too the zippers i noticed i asked him in the podcast about the zippers because the zippers are the one thing that can destroy a bag no matter how well it's made uh, you know if the back straps come off that could do some damage if the the side the seams pop that's that's you know something too but those can honestly be fixed if you need to not i wouldn't want to but you can a zipper broken though that's a big deal that almost takes the bag and makes it completely useless so you can tell these are 
just big, heavy duty, bulky, you know, good zippers. You can just just tell by the size of these suckers that they are good zippers. So uh, this the construction of this bag is outstanding, I think. For the price point, like we talked about in the podcast, for the price point of these bags and the quality of them, uh, it's, it's almost a no-brainer. The back right here has got a nice durable backing. Uh, looks breathable. It's got some padding on it, so it's not going to be, you know, terrible on your back. Again, that all depends on how much weight you put in this sucker. The, the, the straps, the back straps right here could be, you know, they're not super, super padded, but they're not too bad. Uh, and it's also got this strap being put around your waist right here for a little bit more durability too. So um, all in all for the, the price of this bag and the other bags, you know, if you didn't want something this big, you could go smaller to the Velox 2, uh, which is one we're giving away in the other contest. But you know, this is an awesome bag. Now to the important part, how you can you can get this bag. Uh, I'm gonna be giving, put this one back together like it was, just like I got it. And I'll be giving this one out to anybody who, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this contest for about two weeks. And then anybody who comments below, let me know, you know, how you would use it or, or something like that. And then I'll send this out after two weeks. I'll pick somebody who commented below. This bag is only going to be for YouTube subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed. Uh, click the subscribe button below. But uh, in about two weeks, I'll pick a winner from my YouTube channel and we'll give this one away. But as far as the other contest too, like I mentioned in the last video, we're running that one. And if you go to survivalistprepper.net slash contest, uh, we're giving away one of their Velox bags, which is the smaller version. Uh, it's, it's basically a little bit smaller than this without the Molly pouches. Still Molly compatible though, so you could probably get a couple of these if you wanted to. Uh, but we're also giving away a couple of bug out bag first aid kits. Um, one of Sarah Hathaway's, her, rec her newest book is just coming out. We've got some of the, the blaze charcoal bricks that we're selling now. We're going to give a couple away though, a couple of those away. So it's going to be a pretty cool contest. But uh, as far as this one goes, make sure and just comment below. Make sure you're subscribed. Comment below and let me know how you would use it, why you want it, all that stuff. In a couple weeks, I will pick a winner and we'll get this shipped up to you. But uh, appreciate it, everyone, and we'll talk to you later.